Thanks for joining us today on Folk Saturday. Well, we've started the season and, and had two great shows. Great idea. That's, that's smart. And uh, we've just settled in quite nicely. Greetings. It's August 2017. In just about a week, we will have the eclipse called the Great American Eclipse. And we have prime viewing right here. Our guests today are many, and they've all worked so hard on the eclipse preparation. I hope you enjoy the show. We're going to have a great time getting to know what's going on. We're here with Nancy Lodge. She's from Independence and a big organizer on Indie Goes Dark. Welcome, Thank and thanks you. for coming on. Thank you very much. You're part is very significant. You uh, are in charge of transportation so that all those folks that are housed at Western can get down and see the show. So yes, tell uh, us what you're doing. In Independence we're having quite the festival as you may know where it's uh, it'll be three or three days Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then of course Monday is the final. Uh, and so because we're having quite a few pieces of entertainment yeah. and and beer f festival and all those sort of things. We want to make sure that people that are camping here and living here and staying in the Monmouth area have a way to get to Independence mm -hmm. without having to bring their cars. And uh, so thanks to uh, Cease Coons at the Central High School uh, District, uh, we, we're able to have them loan us buses to transport people from the university bus stop will be across from Warner Center mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. in that area and then uh, the stop at Independence will be down near the amphitheater not on the amphitheater pr premises but a block away near mm -hmm. the old city hall so that it'll be easy for people to park and to uh, wait for the bus there. It'll go down Hoffman Road and we expect starting at 8 in the morning until 11 at night. Oh boy. These buses will be going back and forth. She's, oh boy. She's arranged to have bus drivers on duty Good. during those times. Good. So there'll be um, uh, buses on um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those okay. are the three days. Not on Monday, the day of the eclipse, because at that point, everybody can just stand in front of their tent or in their backyard or wherever they are and see the spectacle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But prior to that, we want them to come visit some of our festive Good, of course. Events, so. Lots to do in the area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially. Oh, that's true. In, yeah. Indie Goes Dark. I love the title. Yeah, isn't that that's, nice? That's, that's good. Super, yeah. super. Yeah. You started planning this uh, almost a year ago, didn't oh, you? Yes, I think it was towards the end of October. We had our first committee meeting and realized just how complicated this yeah. whole event it was going to turn out to be. And then, of course, as time went on, more and more um, publicity and information from all parts of the state and the country and everything led us to believe this is going to be quite an A event. A big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that since Independence and Monmouth and uh, lie right in that path, um, of totality, yeah. yeah. Um, then we expect a lot of people come to visit us. Good. So yeah. yeah, and as at this point, and I'm not sure when the last one was, but as of this time, all of our available camping and um, RV parking and all that's all all gone. Sure. All sold. Sure. Yeah. I got a uh, an email this morning from Salishan a resort over oh. on the coast saying that they had lost 33 rooms and would we like to oh uh, yeah for only 1375 oh. 1375 dollars that was interesting for three days for three day meal. yeah 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 i so, know there's been some I scandal surrounding we that. are much more reasonable oh in yeah. Our area. Yeah. yeah yeah oh yeah. yeah yeah and we'll have a super view i think the um we forecast is 20% of, of showers. So that's, oh, that's, that's really good. Like saying zero. The last seven years <laughs> have been clear skies. Yeah. 
on August 21st. We might have a little bit of fire, smoke oh, yeah, that we'll true. see, but but uh, they say, you know, we'll have primo viewing. So. That's great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, that, the, the one thing that will happen on, on Monday at the amphitheater during the eclipse is a, a speaker from Western, I believe, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. will be speaking and giving some scientific insight into what's happening. So yeah, that would, yeah. if you could uh, place yourself down at the amphitheater on Monday, somehow get right. there, that would be fun. But otherwise, I think right here at at Western in the ball field or yep, in wherever be, you are. Yeah, they'll uh, have yeah. the stadium open. And yep, yep. Yeah, so it should be exciting. It is. Yeah. Once in a lifetime for yeah. us, unless you were here in 79. It was in February. Were you here in 79? No, 79? I wasn't here, but I was, I was down in California, in Southern California in 79, and I remember it uh, because even I think a partial eclipse like that, which would be what seventy percent is yeah. pretty awe-inspiring. It true. It really but is. From what I read, we get a hundred percent darkness. Yes. Yeah. Temperature drops ten degrees. Birds go to roost. <laughs> uh, animals get set for bedtime. I know. And and uh, the people say in Portland, sixty miles away, or less, get ninety-nine percent. 99% is a huge difference. That's what I've read. Because there's only going to be, uh, we're the ones who get total darkness. They, the, they, anybody in surrounding areas, even the smallest sliver of sunlight increases the light by 10,000 times. Oh, well, sure. So it's yeah. the difference of night and day. Yeah. So we, it's worth coming So we're going to get that, that corona or whatever that is around. The yeah. moon around the sun. That'll yeah, that'd be fun. I, I, I suppose um, if you're a downtown and in, in, in either downtowns or close to streetlights, that That's might right. impact a little bit. But I don't, I don't so know. So just it step away. Just step. step. <laughs> don't, don't stand <laughs> under don't stand the light. Under a light pole. <laughs> And the, the that's sun, our lesson to you today, folks. Yeah. <laughs> the, the it'll happen 40 degrees. Look, 40 degrees from the southeast horizon. Okay, that so, sounds good, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, or go out and look a week in advance, <coughs> see where the sun is at, <laughs> yes, at 1017. See yeah. where your shadow is yeah. and everything, so yeah. Well, thank you so much you're for welcome. coming on. I you're appreciate welcome. it. Well, your next guest, if is it going to be Imani? Imani yep. Hall and Courtney Williams have been the driving force of this committee. And they've managed to keep everything all together, bundle it, and do all those things. So Imani will be a real thrill to interview. Okay. So <laughs> we'll, <laughs> ask, we'll ask lots of questions. Okay, them, good. Then. Make sure you get lots of questions for her. Thanks, Nancy. Uh, okay, you're welcome. Thank we'll be you. right back. And we're here with Imani Hall. He's Nancy Lodge's partner in crime. He's been running the the show for the Indigo's Dark. Welcome, Imani. Thank you. Thank you. It's really good to be here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so tell us that now. Mm -hmm. We were a little vague on specifics of all the stuff going on. Mm -hmm. You start with a movie on Friday night? Um, on Thursday night. Thursday night. So, yeah. so the Independence Ghost Dark Festival is kind of like partnering on with our River's Edge series, which is kind of like Independence's series that goes from the end of, or pretty much 4th of July up until like the beginning of September. Um, and so we're starting off with that. So it's going to be a movie in the park mm -hmm. on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. um, and then Friday night we're going to have, you know, our, our regular kind of like band um, as well as a beer garden. And then on Saturdays where we have like a lot of different festivities begin for yeah. the eclipse. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the movie is going mm -hmm. to be Star Wars, yeah. Star Trek. Star Trek, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. So Star Trek Into Darkness. And then um, on Friday, I believe we're having Pyromania, which is a, I want to say, um, maybe Def Leppard cover band or... Or Aerosmith. Aerosmith, Aerosmith. Yeah, right. I, yeah. that's what I read anyway. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so Aerosmith cover band on Friday with a beer garden. And then on Saturday, we're having um, just a bunch of different activities down in the park. Um, so mm -hmm. we have a lot of inflatables for kids. Fun. We have, um, yeah, like a beer festival going on. So we have a bunch of different breweries and cideries coming. It should be really exciting. Good. Um, and then sun, we also have fireworks, I guess, that evening. And that's going to be fun. 
be, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And then we're starting off Saturday or Sunday morning, excuse me, with like a lot of different, just like more community activities. So we have like um, yoga in the park, um, a bike ride. Um, we have um, the Independence Downtown Association is doing like a, a special eclipse ghost walk for folks that are visiting. Um, so that'll be pretty exciting. Um, and then Monday morning is the day of the eclipse. Yeah, and I guess we'll, we'll see, we'll all be here to see it. And so I, mm -hmm. I read that we're also going to have fireworks on Sunday. Is um, that not yes, so? Yes, yes. Saturday I say and sa Sunday? I think Saturday and Sunday, you're right, yeah. And mm -hmm. and uh, the fun run. Fun run, There's exactly. There's a 5K. Yeah, fun, yeah exactly. And uh, that's to mm -hmm. raise that's to, money for... Yeah, so it's to raise money. Um, so it's a partnership between MyNet and Joint Chiropractic. And so the fun run is pretty much going to like start in the, in the park and then head around, I guess, the river trail loop that goes up by River Place Apartments and then comes back down. It's about oh, a 5K. Good. Yeah, it should be a lot of perfect, fun. Perfect, perfect. Um, and all the proceeds from that go to, I guess, the Independence and Monmouth communities to help buy more AEDs for each community because yeah. I think we're lacking in a lot yeah, of those. Yeah, that's a which is really great. good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah. So we have... Um, there will be booths, is mm -hmm. my understanding. Mm -hmm. I know um, that... Western will have mm -hmm. a booth. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Who else is going to have booths? Do you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Um, very, so we have a couple people that are signed up, I guess, as vendors, mm -hmm. um, but in the sense of like booths, um, pretty much the Independence Downtown Association, Western Oregon University, um, and then a few other people, but most people are going to be either selling food, um, sure. or, um, I guess a couple of things here or there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. getting, mm -hmm. getting the name out there, getting out there, the face yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. it, how many people do you think we'll have? What's your best it's guess? It's my best guess? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Um, I would say um, that at least in the sense of like, th I would say, okay, probably I would split up in th to three different days. So I would say, or three different sections. So Thursday and Friday, I would say probably just over normal for a normal Re River's Ed series. So I would say maybe like, I would say probably like around, I could see 3,000 people in the park. Um, we're in Independence That's a good like for those two days, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I would say on the Saturday, because we're having the beer festival and then also mm -hmm. just a bunch of other activities, more mm -hmm. people are probably going to be coming in for the eclipse. I would say that they, I could probably estimate maybe like around, and also fireworks, probably like around, mm -hmm. I would say 1,500 to like 25,000 people. Wow. Or no, sorry, 15,000 to like 25,000 people I could, I could see wow. for, a, for a sun, Saturday. And I, I think probably Sunday, um, maybe about the same. And then Monday, I would say, you know, given the fact that it's the morning of the eclipse, a lot of people are going to be heading in. I could probably see, I would estimate, don't hold me, but probably like maybe 30,000 um, to like maybe, probably like maybe 40,000. That's pushing it okay. though. Okay. I, I could say that. I could say okay. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder who's got the little counter. Who's going to Yeah, it's going to be counting yeah. all these people. Yeah, yeah, I, as long as it's not my thumb. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Well, I had read that, oh, Madras is expecting mm -hmm. 100,000. Mm -hmm. And the state of Oregon is mm -hmm. expecting a million. A, a million, million to a million and a half, yeah. So this is kind of reminiscent mm -hmm. of Y2K, you know. Yeah, Everybody's all yeah. ramping up, up for, it, yeah. yeah, yeah. You so. never really know. Mm -hmm. So what kind of preparations have also gone into it? Mm -hmm. I, I, I know you've been planning for a, a long time, um, yeah. but it, safety has been a mm -hmm. factor. Food and water. Water, yeah. Traffic. S traffic. Um, there's been a lot of different things to consider, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, so I guess, I guess you could say, um, hmm. In a sense of like safety, like we're working with CERT and like um, the police department, um, so we're getting hopefully extra help for that um, to like make sure that the that the city of Independence and also surrounding region is, is safe. Yeah. Um, in the sense of traffic, um, myself and like other people who work at the city of Independence have gone to a lot of like um, so pretty much. Travel Salem, which is like, I guess, a subsidiary right. of Travel Oregon, mm -hmm. um, has scheduled, um, I think, three meetings at this point, where there's like a good amount of people, um, pretty much state organizers at those meetings saying like, okay, this is what our traffic plan is, this is how we're preparing for things. And so us at a city level are able to kind of like understand that and like plan accordingly oh, with what they have going oh, on. Good. Um, so we've been in the conversation for a bit. That explains, mm -hmm. uh, Nancy had said that the buses mm -hmm. will be traveling up Hoffman. Exactly, yeah. And so mm -hmm. they'll be avoiding Hopefully Monmouth all the traffic, Main. Yeah, Monmouth yeah. Main Street, yeah, where we expect a lot of traffic to be. Good, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be a super event, and thanks mm -hmm. to you. Yeah, Thanks for putting yeah, course, this all working together. together. Yeah, I just do yeah. what I can to help. You know, a lot of it has been, um, you know, David Klein, City of Independence, like Sean, Courtney, um, another co-worker, Michelle. Like, we, we've all been kind of like at the, 
at the spearhead of this, like yeah. trying to make sure that everything's working out, yeah. you know, in the best way that it can. It's a lot of work, mm -hmm. and it it's is, going yeah. to be fabulous. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Really, yeah, either, yeah, exactly. It's going to be a, literally a once in a lifetime event. It's true. Like, how, I what think, are the chances for Independence and Mama yeah, to see this? Yeah, yeah I think mm -hmm. 21. Well, gosh, I'm trying to remember when the, the next, next one. one yeah, I think be. it's like 357 years from now or something. Like that. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't, I don't it's know. Away, if I'll wait up, but I don't know if I'll quite make it to get there. Yeah. Sounds good. Cryogenics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Imani. Of course, of course. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Hi, here is Mark Fancy, a face we know <laughs> from Monmouth. He's got a, a super concert series going this summer, and uh, one specific concert we want to talk about. So tell us what the concert is. All right, Susan. Thanks for having me. Um, Thank you. We've got the Great Eclipse concert is scheduled for Sunday night, August 20th, the night before the eclipse. It's at the Main Street Park Amphitheater. And that night we're going to feature a Pink Floyd tribute band called Pigs on the Wing. They're named after a Pink Floyd song. Yeah. And they're going to play the, the Pink Floyd classic album, Dark Side of the Moon, in its entirety. Free concert. The concert starts at 8 o'clock, a little later than our usual concerts. We want to take advantage of the, the shorter days and the dark coming. It'll run from 8 mm -hmm. to 10 o'clock at the Main Street Park Amphitheater. Good. We're very excited. Good, yeah. good, because I had thought it started at 6.30. Well, yeah. if you want a good seat, get there at 6.30. Yes, <laughs> yes. I don't know how soon the, the blankets are going to get down on the lawn, but I think we'll have yeah. a nice crowd there. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. that's going to be great. Oh, yeah. That's great. We, uh, I know that we've been working, the community has been working together, um, but specifically, Monmouth also has a time capsule. Tell us what's, right. what's that all about. Right. Well, we've, um, our Parks and Recreation Board kicked around the idea of putting in an Eclipse time capsule in our Main Street Park. And so we're working towards that. Um, we're going to put a time capsule uh, in the park that's supposed to be opened in approximately 165 years, I think, is when the next eclipse right. gets even near our area. Nothing like yeah. this, this eclipse, but it'll be close. Um, and that'll have some artifacts from today in it. We might put a uh, Dark Side of the Moon CD in there, for example, oh, to good, show what today's technology or even yesterday's will, technology is. Will they like. have vinyl or, you know, yeah. CDs or right. eight tracks or, we, you know. We <laughs> could put all those things in there and, and let them know. And we're going to wait. At, we're going to probably put the time capsule in in September because what we want to do is be able to get some of the news reports that actually came from this eclipse and put them in. And we'll, yeah. we, we're ordering special baggies that are to protect all of the papers and all the artifacts that are going in. We've also asked people to do, to do a community survey online, mm -hmm. asking them a couple simple questions about what's their favorite place in Monmouth. Uh, what would they do if they were mayor for one day? What would they do in Monmouth? Um, so people can still check that online. Um, you can check it at the City of Monmouth website if you yeah. want to respond. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those responses and seal those in the time capsule Good. as well. Good. So should be fun. Yeah. So you're going to need a big time capsule. It's it's or fewer things. We or have to fewer. decide. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. You aren't going to use microfish, are you, or microfilm? No, I, no, I no. I think that's going to be gone from you right, know, right, take everything right, down. Right. Right. Well, one, one of the beauties of this is once you put it in the ground, you don't have to worry about it after that's a while. True. You know, it's not our that's, problem anymore. It's so, not yeah. our problem. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, it's going to be a terrific event. I see you've brought something with you. Oh, Show yeah. I wanted, to, I wanted to give you a pair of these. These are our City of Monmouth uh, Eclipse glasses that we've got. These are available for free at City Hall. Um, we've also got them at our Music in the Park concerts on Wednesday nights at the amphitheater. So there's there's your pair. Wonderful. Of, yeah, I see you've got quite a collection yes, going here. Yes, so, well, yeah. I... I have 11 people at our house, so I now I have enough. Okay, good. If I can talk my little grandchildren into wearing these, that's, yes, you know. Yes, you've got to have proper well, eyewear. On, it's yeah. true. It's yeah. a safety factor. Yeah, and these and, are the specially certified eyewear. It oh, says on the back of them oh, that they've got these the These aren't the four-cent knockoffs. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's, that's important. That's important. Have you ever uh, made... Were you, you weren't here in 69, were you? No, when no. They had it, okay. But uh, I've, I've seen where you take a cereal box and you poke a hole in it. Oh, right, right. Or, no, wait, you put foil somewhere, tape foil, poke a hole in it, and that's your viewing thing. I'm, I, I'm coming yeah. for more of these. Yeah. That's I, a lot I, easier. I like, I like those a lot, yeah. yeah. 
And I should mention that, you know, I don't know if you've talked about the path of totality, but the, the 60 or 90 mile swath that goes across the country, the, the epicenter or the center of that in our area is about a mile south of, of Monmouth and Independence. So. Was it over by the uh, cemetery? Was Could be over near that area, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can't get any closer. Right. I mean, you're there. You're going to have, right. You've got a, anywhere in the area, you've got a great spot. Yeah. yeah. We had talked earlier about even 1% difference, even even 10 miles away from the, right. the epicenter is going to be not worth the effort. Almost, you know, that's <laughs> it's, a, it's a big difference yeah. when you get at the outer ranges. It's just a few seconds of total darkness in our area. It's going to be a little over two minutes. Okay. Of total darkness. And yeah. though there's a place in Kentucky that will have the longest, right? Uh, they have two minutes, 34 seconds. I think so, and yeah. um, then the longest you can, uh, they have recorded a seven minute eclipse. That would be oh awesome to oh, see, that but that's the longest yeah. Yeah. that can be so. Anyway, all sorts of really cool yep. things. Once in yep. a lifetime. Yes, once in a lifetime is going to be a fun weekend all over the place. Yeah. Where are you going to spend yeah. Monday morning? Uh, I'm I'm going to be south of town. I've got a, a secret location south of town where I'll be watching the eclipse. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Are you going to get a white sheet or some kind of white to put down on the ground? Because half oh. the fun, I've been told, is watching the bands. They look like little snakes wiggling. Oh. And uh, it's the gases that come off of the sun. And the only time oh. you can All look right. directly up is during the totality. But right. half the fun is looking down on the ground. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool that's a great stuff tip. that's happening. Oh, cool. So, so I'll add a sheet to our, to our list of yeah, stuff to yeah, pack. Yeah, take your, party, your yeah. seats, your beverage of choice. Yeah, right. that early in the morning, I'm thinking Bloody Marys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Well, thank you so much for coming on. You Exciting bet, yeah. times. You bet. You yeah. bet. It's going to be fun. Thank yep. you for having me. And hopefully we'll get you back next month. Oh, I, I plan on it. Yeah, okay. You bet. Excellent. You bet. You'll see me Excellent. again. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Not done with me yet. Thanks for coming <laughs> on, Mark. We'll be right yep. back. <laughs> We're here with Erin McDonough. She is with Western Oregon University and a big part of planning for this eclipse. So welcome, Erin. Well, thanks for having <laughs> me. I'm so excited. We're getting so close. Yeah, we are. Like, today is the ninth. We have uh, a week and a half. Yes. <laughs> yeah. we, we can do it. We can yeah. do it. So tell us uh, what's happening at Western for this big event. Well, in addition to hosting a whole bunch of people, uh, which is really exciting, what, what I think our strong suit here is that our partnerships with the communities. So we're really excited that Monmouth is having the concert on Sunday night, and we think that's such a walkable way to get from campus and, yeah. and go see downtown. So we're excited for our guests to be able to do that. And then we've been working with Independence. So Independence will be showing some videos that we've, uh, of lectures that we've done around the eclipse. They'll, oh, we'll good. have the Western Oregon Learning Fun Zone, the Wolf Zone, uh, in Inside the park in Independence, so you'll be able to come and see and learn about the eclipse. Good. And then on campus on Monday morning after totality, we want you to come to the Eclipse Gator, otherwise known as a tailgater around the eclipse, and you'll get your you know traditional hot dog, your chips, your cookie, and be able to sit outside and watch the end of the whole process and oh, uh, kind of sit and enjoy a meal. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, where will the viewing be? Is Are you suggesting a spot, a certain spot? Yeah, for our guests that are staying on campus, they can go out to the turf field. Uh, and then we've got uh, beyond the baseball field and some of our intramural fields, that's mm -hmm. where our campers will be. So we expect they'll oh. probably stay out in that big field. Yeah. And then others in the community are welcome to come to MacArthur Stadium. You can only see from about half the seats. Um, but you can go oh. down on the, some of the grass areas and in the parking lots. Oh. So, and okay. then really we just invite people to spread around campus. We have a, one private event with one field, but there's fields and spots around campus. And one of the things we hear that's so cool is actually seeing the eclipse through trees and other oh. ways. So we anticipate people just coming to campus and Good. finding their own spot. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and walking or riding their bike, preferably. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because yes. transportation is going to be nasty. Yes, um, we're grateful to Independence for and the Central School District. They're yeah. doing the shuttles um, back and forth on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Monday, yeah, we anticipate people more walking and, and riding their bikes. We will have parking lots open for the general public Good. on Monday for day use, starting at 6.30 in the morning for Good. $20. Um, so that's the one... Once you get to campus, then you can find your spot, but we are charging for parking that day, and it's about four lots that we have left available to Good house people. Good idea. Yeah. I know, because so many are seeing this as a revenue maker, an economic boost. Yes. And I know we've been charging a very reasonable fee for the dorm rooms. Yes. And Kind of like, we could have charged thousands. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad we didn't. It, yeah. You want a good, a good feeling out there with the, right. with the visitors. So I, there's one more thing. We have yes. Hammersley. Yes. What's happening at Hammersley Library? Well, at Hammersley Library, leading up to the eclipse, mm -hmm. um, well, I guess until the Thursday before the eclipse, and then the oh. um, exhibit will move to Independence. Oh. So we actually have an exhibit in Hammersley Library that people can come see, uh -huh. uh, and it's all around student work that was done this spring, and it tells you about the cultural side of uh, kind of side of eclipses. It tells you about eye safety. It's just it's really real Good. well rounded and done by our students. There's a great poem, and then we're also selling commemorative magazines that has the same. Oh information from students and you can get that uh, during the weekend and you can order them online right now Good. and then we also have uh, so that whole exhibit will move to independence and then one last minute thing that we have which is uh, one of our community lecture series is happening on and that's centered around the eclipse so next Monday, the 14th, um, and that's in ITC, which is the Instructional Technology Center, uh -huh. or for most of the community uh, campus elementary building. Yes. And uh, you can come down and hear a speaker talk about the eclipse as well. Good. So that's uh, Monday night. Who, who will be that speaker? Do you know? Uh, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Is it the same speaker who will be there at the eclipse? And no, and, this is a different okay. couple, and okay. so they're coming. And then what we've done, we have three. We've had three speakers throughout the summer, and we were videotaped them. And then you can go see them indoors oh, um, in Indie Commons on Sunday during the weekend. Okay. So that will okay. be great. Um, Independence has. A, Dr. Melinda Shimizu, one of our faculty members that will be speaking. Yeah, yeah that's, so it's exciting. that's very nice. That, yeah. That'll be great. Oh, good. It sounds like all bases are covered. Yes. Have you got your place picked out? Are you going to be on campus? I'm going to be on campus. I'll be running around. Yeah, so I'm yeah. hoping I, I'm going to take a moment once the, the totality hits, and I hope everybody does that, to just stop wherever they are yeah. and, and experience and enjoy that's it. That's right. Yeah. I, part of the deal is... Uh, you know, get out. Don't answer the phones. Don't right. you know? And I've heard it's yes. possible cell phone service will be down right, that's anyway. True. That's Internet true. may be down. Yep. It's kind of the Y two K all over again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Expect the unexpected. So. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. It is going to be exciting. Super. Well, well thanks thank for explaining you. what we've got going on here. Yes. Yeah. It's a lot. And how it all merges in comes together. We're glad it's a big community event and we're yeah. able to partner with Monmouth and Independence and, and do something as a community. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Good. Sarah. Thanks, Susan. We'll be right back. We're here with Trina Horsey. She's also an employee here at Western Oregon University and very active in the planning for the eclipse. Tell us your position and what the title is and and how that relates to what you're doing. I am the new coordinator for conference and event services. And before I started as a full-time employee, I was temporary and part-time. And then the eclipse started happening and they yeah. decided they should probably make it a full-time position. Um, good. So that's my title. It was a good choice. And so how many hours do you think you've spent on this singular event? Gosh, that's a great question. Countless. Um, it's been late nights uh, working through wait lists. Um, I was 20 hours a week before July 1st and went to 40 and I've probably worked 40 or 50 hours a week just on the event along with the other conferences and things that were uh, taking place during the summer. So. Oh sure, oh sure, because 
there's other things happening in the meantime. Yes, we just got done with Bike MS, uh, which is a big oh, uh, conference big. for us. Oh so gosh. yeah, so we have a lot of other events happening on campus, and the eclipse is just one of those. So but it's going to be I, a big one. I imagine come August 22nd, you're calling in sick and sleeping. Um, Tina Fuchs, who is my boss, <laughs> has already told me that I can take some time off. So good. Um, we'll see how good. that plays out. I, I can't imagine how busy you must be. So how did the process begin? At first, I think we had one dorm they were going to open, or maybe two. Right. Um, we, we decided that we were going to offer some rooms to the general public, mm -hmm. and they went so fast that we were, we were inclined to open up more. Um, we have a few big groups on campus that are part of the Eclipse, but not part of Western Oregon University. Mm -hmm. So they have their block of oh, rooms as oh. well. Um, I, I feel like the university thought it's an opportunity to educate, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to be accessible to all people yeah. and to really showcase Monmouth and what Western Oregon University can do. So that's a it's it's a great way to put the word out and get, mm -hmm. you know, an opportunity we will never have again, probably. Right. Or when we do, it'll be a hundred and what is it, eighty years from now? They'll so. be resurrecting us yes. from the graves to come back and do. <laughs> They'll this be again. saying, "Work that poor woman to death." <laughs> no, it's, I have been. I've talked to every single person that has made a reservation with us on the phone or via good. email, and I feel like some of them I've been able to get to know personally, oh, and they're so excited. The enthusiasm yes. around this event is just—it's unmatched. I feel like. I'm I'm excited because they are. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there've been descriptive words in just about every article I've read, like iridescent, fluorescent, you know, uh, mind blowing, mm -hmm. um, unforgettable. So uh, words can't do it justice. I think you have mm -hmm. to be there. And then I understand once you've seen one, you want to become a a chaser. You want to go see yes. all all over the world. So. I think the description that sticks with me the most is uh, life-changing. That's the description that um, uh, one of my friends that I've made over the last year, she was one of the first people that called me. Her name is Barbara Franklin, oh. and she's 85 years old. Oh, wow. And this is her second total solar eclipse. She's bringing her entire family. Oh. She's rented four apartments in the Arbor oh. Park complex. Um, she is so enthusiastic. She says it's it's like nothing you've ever seen before. It's life changing, and just talking to her um, makes me think this is all worth it. All the extra hours, Good. all the efforts that mm -hmm. people have put forth mm -hmm. on campus mm -hmm. and in our community with Monmouth and Independence. I feel like, wow. Yeah. I think it's going to be a really great event. It is. It is. It sure is. And and for all the planning that goes into it, you will appreciate it when it's culminating, yes. you know, that you've, you've accomplished a great deal. How many people do you, uh, have you counted, will be staying on our campus? So with the big groups that we have that are sort of organized apart from Western Oregon University, mm -hmm. um, we have Eola Hills Winery. They oh. are um, sending us uh, uh, about 200 people, most of which are from Google. They're coming down from Seattle wow. and staying with us. Um, so about 200, 225 people in that uh, group. Then we have another group with uh, Polk County Fairgrounds um, oh. through uh, Wine Country Eclipse and Big Family Eclipse. And that's oh. kind of one entity, but they're bringing uh, roughly three to 400 people. And then on campus with Western Oregon University, we have about 600 participants right now, so um, we anticipate over a thousand people on campus to wow. care for and to feed. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we've we've spent eight months, nine months planning on how how to do that and how to do that well. Sure, so. sure. So the where, how is the feeding going to happen? Is that the feeding is, um, we're opening up our dining hall and various other okay. Okay. locations. Allegro is going to be open. Okay. Um, we're opening up the Wolf Grill. Um, we're doing sure. this fantastic barbecue for fundraising, barbecue for, for our guests. So 
Um, our dining hall is going to have extended hours where they're open for breakfast, lunch, dinner while mm -hmm. everyone's here. Mm -hmm. They can just freely go in whenever they want Good. and purchase oh. food. So um, there we Albert Wartikin and his staff have been really tirelessly planning for a little over a thousand people they're going to feed. So Golly, yes. that's terrific. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. And have you got your spot picked out? My spot will be on campus. Um, my husband and I have uh, gotten a babysitter, so they'll be watching with, with our kids at home. He actually works at Western Oregon University as well, oh, and good. he will be manning his area of campus, and I'll be helping with our housing staff good. and making sure our guests are comfortable. But I'll be, like Aaron said, I'll be taking a break along with all of our guests, hopefully to take in to this beautiful it. site and watch it mm -hmm. on campus somewhere, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a terrific yeah, event. it really will, I'm excited. Thank you so much, Thank Trina, you. for putting in all that extra effort. It's worth it, I'm, I'm hoping that we get a fair number of future students out of this. This yes. is really why we're doing it. Good. Is to showcase Western Oregon University and and be that memory that people have. Wow, yeah. you know, I. I watched this amazing event and I want to go to school here. So I hope so. Look at how too. beautiful this campus is, how caring the people are, how connected they are to the community. I want this is where I want to go to school. This is where I want my child to go to school, my grandchild. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is our impetus as a housing department for doing it. Fabulous. It's gonna be a terrific. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thanks. much. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Weren't they terrific guests? I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, safety, wear your glasses. You can see our show on the YouTube Wimpeg channel, on MyNet channel 718, and of course, our Facebook page, Poke Salad, a bounty of conversation. Until next time, we'll see you around town.